Awesome questions. Um, so let me just clarify real quick before I get into this. <clears throat> you're just starting your agency, right? And you're just thinking about, and you have, it sounds like you have, remind me what the, what the niche is. Uh, car brokers. Okay. So car brokers, we're, we're, we're at a category there. So I'll ask you to niche down a little bit more. That's where we get into the list, but you want to know in terms of getting those first few clients, what the least amount of friction is to making your first sales in terms of the, the pitch that fits where you're at right now. Is that what you're asking? Correct. Okay. Um, so let's, let's outline the three things that you said here, the list. So that's the subcategory and then a free trial and a VSL. Well, first and foremost, I do think that from one client to 10, you can do a VSL, but quite frankly, you don't know your audience well enough to make a VSL. So you're kind of wasting your time. Okay. And, and we'll talk about the power of a VSL here in just a minute. But to me, the way I would do it is A, like, or one, identify that sub niche, that, that very unique person like we've been talking about here. Okay. Do that and then get really confident about your approach to that person. Now, confidence is going to come from the level of specificity that you apply to your offer. And that's going to come from the person that you're talking to. Remember, we talked about who, how, how hot is the list? Like what, what people in your, uh, in your category are a part, you know, may, maybe it's when you say car brokers, maybe it's like small, small guys who are trying to compete with big wholesalers. Here's an ad that will get you this many more opportunities per month. Now that to me starts to sound like an opportunity to succeed, to succeed against you know, an unfair advantage. People have been, been in it longer. Now I start to develop that list more. Okay, so that's number one, is getting real clear on the list. Then number two, the free trial, um, it's the thing that results in a successful conversation, okay? So you don't think about, uh, you can say, hey, my script is going to result in a free trial. That's fine. But really what you want to do is you want to approach those people and then, you want to talk to them one-on-one. -on -one. You want to approach them. You want to be like, you want to know them before you scale, okay? Which takes me to the third thing, a VSL. The reason that a VSL works is not because you follow a fancy formula. It's because you talk to a very specific person in your VSL, which means that if you go out and just create a VSL, to a category, it's not going to have that dog whistle approach. Do you know what I mean when I say dog whistle? Yeah, only they can hear it. Yeah so, yeah, so dog whistle, meaning if I blow that whistle to a category, I don't want all of them to hear it. I only want this very minute part to go, oh, that's talking to me, right? So um, at the moment now, and it, let's, let's do this. Let's say you came from the car wholesaling uh, world. In that case, you know all of their pains, you know all of their situations, you know all of the things that they think don't work. If that's the case, then you're going to have a really fast accelerant from one to 10 clients. It's going to be really easy. But if you don't know them, you have to know them first, right? This is human, this is like just human nature, this is basic human you know, um, just processes and ways, ways we communicate. If you guys aren't talking about the same things, you're never going to make a sale. Okay. So the 14 day trial for me is a good way to get from one to 10 clients, because if you find there's a match in the, in the problem, the need they have and what you offer, just let that be the thing initially without going through the conversions process, the closing process of, okay, so here's the deal. Just say, hey, because we have such a clear match, let's do this. I'm going to give you this for 14 days for free. I'm going to set it up. You'll try it for 14 days. If you like it, we go forward. If you don't, I understand. That, for a lot of people, that's just a very 
easy way to get started. Okay. And that's what we're talking about. We're talking about getting started. Other people, you know, I mean, I do a free trial via a webinar because now that thing is just selling itself. I'm like, well, there's not a person selling it. It's got a proven framework, but you're not going to push high ticket sales through a replay, but you could absolutely do a 14 day free trial. So just understand that these are different pieces of the puzzle and you just push, put them in where it makes sense. Does that make sense? Yeah, perfect. Thank you.